Ah! If you're there in the Kia Arena enjoying a beer, watching other people run around after a tennis ball, because they get paid to, good luck to you. Um, so just looking at the score, uh, the Aussies uh, um, the Aussies uh, now got three break points to break serve again. It's the second game in a row uh, that they are um, trying to take advantage of a break point opportunity. But this time, have uh, have these have their opponents got what it takes? Have they got enough legs in the tank? To I'd say the Aussies. Um, by weight of numbers and weight of effort, I'd say that they're going to wrap this. Uh, uh, this will be the fifth game, the sixth game of the second set. I'd say the Aussies are on track uh, to win this game. They're up 40 love. Uh, and again, apologies, I can't can't make out who's serving. Uh, Kulhoff and Skupski have saved the break point, but they've oh. still got two more break points to save before they can even earn the right. And the way the match has panned out, and the ease of the serving of the Australians. I mean, usually doubles, um, you're going to get some long legs, um, even when the game isn't too even. And it's felt like this match, um, you know, this quarter final match. We feel that it would go, and uh, I'm going to shut up here because uh, the Aussies have match point at uh, 1540, serving for the match. Kubler and Hugh Carter in front of their home crowd, their first ever Grand Slam final, the quarter final at Kia Arena, Melbourne Park. They're serving for the match. It's the red zone for the number one seeds. Uh, are they going to pull it back? I don't think they are. I'm calling it blind, but I'm saying that this is a lay down the there. And good on you to the unseeded Australians that come into this tournament as the wild cards. And boy, haven't they served us up with uh, one of those dream runs. We love this. It happens every single year. There's always an Australian. There's always a player that makes it through. And that's it. 6-1 in the second set. 6-3 in the first. Pidgey Carter, Rinky, Kubla, Jason, take a bow. You have just won your first ever Grand Slam final, a quarter final. They're into the semi final now. They've seen off the number one seeds, and boy, hasn't this got a ring of familiarity to it? Because I can tell you that last year, the, the special gut, the special, the special K's, the special K's achieved exactly the same thing. They came from nowhere, uh, unseeded. Uh, they were also wild cards. And uh, they made it through, and they also defeated top seeds. They defeated the number one seeds in their run uh, to, their, um, to the, the doubles final. They ended up beating the number two seeds, Kubler and Ridger Carter, uh, names that are nowhere near known well enough. Jason Kubler, known for his uh, mental resilience. Rigi, <laughs> Rinky Ridger Carter, known for his ability to sleep on planes during long fights. Flight. Well done, Will. Well done, fellas. That is a fantastic result for Australian tennis. Because I tell you what, with uh, with uh, uh, Kyrgios, Kokonakis, Milman, uh, Demon, all, all falling short in the singles. And uh, as we know, most elite level tennis players in the singles ranks usually don't kick on in the doubles. And uh, we've, you know, we've got no Barty, no Stosa. Uh, the girls' ranks in the, amongst the Australians are a bit thin on the ground these days. So it's fantastic to see um, Rinky and Jason. It's fantastic to see you guys do so well. And you know what that means, folks, don't you? <laughs> that means another live stream uh, and more of me banging on about uh, anything under the sun. So um, that's, uh, that's just a fantastic result on Chuck. That is just sensational. Fancy that. Now, who would have picked that? Um, who would have? Who would have thought? Who would have thought these guys were a chance? Um, well, I tell you, you would have had to have been an extremely confident uh, um, uh, tennis aficionado um, for these guys uh, to come through in the way that they have—a straight sets win over the number one seeds. How good is that? 
this is uh, this Australian Open live. It's our live stream coverage of the men's doubles quarterfinals held at Kia Arena, Melbourne Park, with the winners Jason Kubler and Minky Hitchcock. Don't go away. We'll be right back.